If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. One aspect of Tom Brady's game that makes him so successful is his ability to combine his strong arm with pinpoint accuracy. How far can you throw it? What's kind of your longest distance in throwing with accuracy? I mean, the farthest you'll ever probably throw in a game is 50 to 55 yards. I mean, I could throw it probably 70 if I really get into one, but that doesn't come up too often. Most of the time you need a running start to go throw it that far. When throwing, athletes typically experience what's known as the speed accuracy trade-off. This biomechanical principle states that as their movements increase speed, they become less accurate. But Brady's remarkably consistent mechanics produce a throwing motion that, no matter the location of the pass, consistently takes 39 hundredths of a second. This precision timing enables him to maintain his mechanics even when throwing crossing patterns at 61 miles per hour, about 10 miles per hour faster than a typical hard pass in the NFL. In fact, to connect with receivers in perfect stride 20 yards away, we found Brady can fire his arm forward at an angular velocity on par with a major league pitcher and still hit a target the size of a dinner plate. The narrative or the thought process that Tom Brady's arm isn't strong enough to play in Bruce Arians' offense is a bunch of baloney. The reality is this, Greeny. Every single tape or every single play from last year that I watched, Tom Brady can show the arm is still there. How about this? Through week six last season, Tom Brady was second in the NFL in 20-yard completions, only behind Patrick Mahomes, one of the strongest arms in the NFL. Now, why do I say week six? That was the last week that that he had some form of a combination of Antonio Brown and Josh Gordon. I want to reiterate the fact that if Tom Brady has the weapons to push the football downfield, he absolutely still can. And Greeny, let me leave you with this. So in everything that we know about the reporting and, and storytelling in New England, Tom Brady was kind of sh shoved out the door, right? He was told, you're not good enough anymore for here. The last time that we saw Tom Brady get told he wasn't good enough was about 20 years ago in the NFL draft and he went on a 20 year reign of dominance in the NFL. Tom Brady is going to light it up in Tampa Bay. Anyone doubting Tom Brady's arm strength is dead wrong. Godwin said of Brady, quote, he's letting that thing rip like he's letting it fly. There's a lot of velocity on the ball, a lot of touch, and there's a difference, you know. I'm glad people are talking down about it because I know the truth about it and I'm excited about what's to come. Now Brady is his footwork and athleticism on play action for anybody's age is really, really good. Like he, he, he moves well back there. Uh, one of the most critical aspects for quarterbacks is, is quick feet and being able to move in the pocket and to, to stay on balance as we, as we showed in some of the other drills. And I think jump rope is a great way to do it. It's a great way to, to get your feet moving, to get your hands moving, to be coordinated and to be athletic. And it improves your jumping, it improves your quickness. But one of the most dominant plays for the Patriots actually involves Brady carrying the ball. For a QB sneak, Tom Brady transfers his body weight to his right leg as the center executes the snap. This allows him to drop his left leg back and begin pushing off the ground just five hundredths of a second after he touches the ball. By dropping his center of mass and generating 800 pounds of force with each step, Brady can get the ball across the line of scrimmage in about 75 hundredths of a second. That's nearly three times faster than a running back taking a handoff. And from there, Brady typically wedges himself between his guard and center and lets his 6'4 frame do the rest of the work. To put in perspective how great of a rusher Tom Brady is, consider this. On third or fourth down with two or fewer yards to gain, Marshawn Lynch has a conversion rate of about 60%. And Tom Brady, with just about as many attempts as Lynch, has a conversion rate of 91.9%, the highest of any active player in the league. On third or fourth down with two
two or fewer yards to gain, Marshawn Lynch has a conversion rate of about 60%. And Tom Brady, with just about as many attempts as Lynch, has a conversion rate of 91.9%, the highest of any active player in the league. Can you hit one out of here? I think I can. It could never get me out of the batting cage. I was one of those guys, one more, one more, one more. Ah, one more. With the thought of taking probably about 30 or 40 in there now. I think I could pull one around that pole. Oh, he got it. He got it. He got it. I'm done. He got it. Yeah, he got it. I did pull it out of a, one of the shorter parts. To get it out on the last last swing, I kind of walked away with a real good taste in my mouth. It's the bat. First thoughts on Tom Brady, the baseball player. <laughs> Tom was one of the best high school baseball players I, I saw. Hmm. I mean, quite frankly, he was a left-handed hitting catcher with an absolute hose. And, you know, I t told this story a few different times, but... He hit one of the furthest home runs that I ever saw hit in a high school game. It was across the street uh, at St. Francis, my Catholic high school, and it landed on top of the building, which happened to be a Planned Parenthood building. So I always say, I don't know what's more ironic, that Tom Brady hit the furthest home run I ever saw hit in a high school game, or it landed on top of a Planned Parenthood building across the street from my Catholic high school. It's a little twisted. One thing that I, I've learned uh, along the way is to not compare yourself to, to any other guys. You know, you won't be able to jump as high as, as some people, as Vince Carter. You won't be able to, to run as fast as Mike Vick, but I could be the best athlete that I can be, and I could maximize my potential. That only comes through hard work. My mom was always the one that said, you can do it, you can do it, sweetheart, you know. And she still says that. You, know? <laughs> you can't help yourself. Once a, once a mom, always a mom. I know. I, I would say, mom, you know, I'm not like, you know, I'm like guys like Cam Newton, Russell Wilson, they make all these great plays with their feet, and they were, well, you're just as fast as they are. And I said, mom, <laughs> I don't know what you're watching, but. <laughs> Tom Brady's speed has never been compared to the likes of Cam Newton or Russell Wilson until now. That's because the Patriots quarterback's mom is the one making the assessment. At a speaking event for Dick's Sporting Goods, Brady says he got some encouragement from his mom, who told him he was just as fast as the other two QBs. According to Brady, he replied, Mom, I don't know what you're watching. Sure, Brady is notoriously known for being slow, but when you're a four-time Super Bowl champion, some flaws tend to be forgiven. Quarterbacks always take pride in their spiral, too. You don't ever want to throw a ball that wobbles. Some people do, though. Yeah. Montana never did. <clears throat> so they're hard to catch or not? No. Not That's even having to move. That's it for this video. I post a new Tom Brady video every day, so please like and subscribe. That way you'll always have a new Tom Brady video to watch every single day.